This is Rui PCB, your trusted PCB partner. Today, we'll introduce how to use hierarchical schematics to design circuits in KiCad. In KiCad, multiple distinct schematics can effectively form a hierarchical structure, with one primary root schematic and other individual schematics serving as sub-schematics of the main root, allowing for complex and organized designs. If needed, uh, a schematic can be included multiple times within a hierarchy, which is what we previously referred to as reuse. Creating schematics in a hierarchical structure can improve readability and reduce repetitive drawing. Creating a hierarchical schematic starts from the root schematic. The process involves creating a sub-schematic, drawing the circuit within the sub-schematic, and making the necessary electrical connections between schematics. You can use hierarchical pins and labels to establish connections between the nets of sub-schematics and parent schematics, or use global labels to connect any nets within the hierarchy. Uh, the general recommendation is to use global labels for power nets, but not for other nets, as using global labels elsewhere can lead to confusion or errors. In KiCad's project management, no matter how many schematics are used in the project, only the name of the root schematic will be displayed. For example, here, we actually have many sub-schematics, but only one schematic is shown here. Also, you can't directly add new schematics in project management, whether it's creating a new one or adding an existing schematic to the project. In this project management interface, there will only be one schematic and one PCB. You can add schematics here. This is different from mainstream PCB design tools and may cause some confusion for engineers who are new to KiCad. That's true. Uh, in other tools, you can see all the schematics within the project, but in KiCad, you only see one. If you're just starting to use it, you might wonder, hey, why are so many of my schematics missing? There's only one left. Now let's open and take a look at our schematic. This is our hierarchical schematic. The current page is a top-level schematic page. In KiCad, you need to use the hierarchical navigator to view the project's hierarchical structure. It's right here. This is the hierarchical navigator. Mine is currently closed, so let's click it to open it. Once we open it, we can see that there's a top-level schematic here, um, and below that, it's divided into multiple levels. For example, the FPGA is another level, and under the FPGA, there are even more subdivisions. MGTS is further divided. So this schematic is very complex with many sublevels. The sublevels are mixed. You can see that within the sublevels, these represent the next subpages, but there are also many circuits in other areas. This design is a very complicated schematic. In the design, you can try using the tool to add a hierarchical schematic with the shortcut key S to add a sub-schematic in the design. Let's go back to the top level to add it. It's this tool, which we introduced earlier. You can click the tool to add a hierarchical schematic or just press the shortcut key S. Huh? Now you can drag to adjust its size as needed. Mainly, it depends on how many pins you need to interact with on the top level schematic. Then left click to confirm. This will bring up a properties dialog box prompting you to enter the schematic page name and file name. The page name here must be unique because when it generates the net list, especially for local labels, it will use the page name. The page name comes first followed by the label name you create. So this must be unique. So here, we'll set it as test. Then here is sheet file, which is the file name. This label 
is the name of the file that will be created. The name of the sub schematic file will be this. The schematic file name can be a relative path or an absolute path, but it must use a complete file name. What does complete file name mean? It means it must include Kakas, this extension must be complete. We can change it to be the same. Actually, you can modify its path here. This means you can use a relative path under the project, and you can also change its name. This completes the name modification. If there is a schematic with a different name in the sheet file path, a new schematic will be created. KiKad creates a, a hierarchical structure in this way. Currently, KiKad does not support a flat project structure, and you must use a schematic sheet to add a new schematic. You cannot add a schematic directly to the project. That is, even if we use a flat structure, we still have to add it in this way. In the previous episode, we saw that I called it pseudo-hierarchical, and this is the reason because you have to add it in this way. We click OK, and then we see that it creates a new sheet here. You can see the sheet and the local net we create here will appear after this slash test slash this is our local net label name, and this is the file name. All right, that's all for today's content. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you, everyone.